This is the KNF Concept SA254 T1 tripod. Let's open it up and check it out. Quick disclaimer, KNF Concept sent me this product completely for free for a video review, but this video is not sponsored. Okay, so this is basically what you get inside the box for just 129 US dollars. You get a tripod and you get a carrying case for the tripod with some straps. You'll be able to mount it on your body. Now let's quickly take a look at the build quality of the tripod. The tripod is built completely out of aluminum with a little bit of rubber obviously in here and some foam in here. Also, I love the colors. You have some orange in here and pretty much 90% of the tripod is black. Now I want to measure the weight of the tripod and it's 2014 grams, basically 2 kilograms and 14 grams. Definitely not a travel tripod, not lightweight, but you'll see soon why it's heavy and why I think actually it's not that heavy because it has some cool features up its sleeve. Another thing that I want to measure is how long it is when it's folded. So it is... 57 centimeters. Okay, now let me quickly run through the features of this tripod. First of all, you have a nice and comfortable foam grip in here to comfortably carry the tripod around. At the bottom in here, you have a hook to hook a bag or a sandbag or something heavy to make the tripod a little bit more sturdy. And also you can remove this hook if you want to and flip the center column upside down if you want to do some macro photography or something like that. I'm going to show you later on how it works. Now let me show you the mechanism of the legs. So you have levers in here and you basically have three positions. So one and then two and then three. This is how the levers look like. Everything is built out of aluminum. Feels really sturdy and nice. And the mechanism itself also feels really smooth. Okay, now let's take a look at the ball head. This is the ball head that comes with the tripod. Very compact and small. It can hold up to 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. Has a 3.8 inch thread at the bottom. Has two levers, one lever in here to adjust the ball, and then another wheel in here if you want to do panoramic shots or simply pan your ball head. And at the top of the ball head you have an Arca Swiss mount plate. Now on the tripod itself you have a 3-8 inch thread on the top, but you can also remove that if you want to. And then you can convert that to a quarter inch thread if you want to. Now let's take a look at the leg mechanism of this tripod. You have a twist lock system in here, which you can twist and unlock the legs. Feels pretty smooth. Not as smooth as my Sirui tripod, but smooth enough. Then in the end you have rubber feet for more stability on rough terrain and so on, and you can also uh, extend those rubber tips if you want to or if you want to, you can remove those uh, for replacement or something else and you can expose a quarter inch thread at the bottom of each leg. Now I want to show you the first cool feature about this tripod and that is that you can transform this tripod from a tripod into a monopod by combining one of the legs with a set of column if you want to. So you basically remove one of the legs, then I'm going to remove the bottom hook. I'm going to also remove the center column, then connect the center column to the tripod leg. 
and I have a monopod. And now I want to show you the second cool feature about this tripod, and that is that you can convert the center column into a horizontal arm for macro photography or top-down shots, and it's very simple to do. You have one lever in here, you undo this lever, extend this arm, push it, and now you have a horizontal arm, which you can also pan like so. You can also lock it if you don't want it to move. So now it's not moving. You can also extend this back and forth. Just like so. Okay, so now I want to show you the different positions that you can get with this tripod from its lowest position to the highest position. Right now, this is the default position once you unfold the tripod. This is right now the tripod's lowest leg position. And right now, this is the second level leg position. You can also move up and down the center column to get it even lower. And right now the tripod only has one leg extended on each leg, and also the center column is also extended, but you can extend the center column even more, and it goes even higher. That's only one leg extended. It's about one meter and a half, I would say. Let me now extend the second leg. So this is now the second leg extended. This tripod is very, very long and it gets really high. But this tripod gets even higher because there is another leg. And right now this is the highest position of the tripod. It's not even fitting in frame. Without extending the center column, it gets to 170 centimeters. And if I'm going to extend the center column, two meters, about two meters, I would say. Yeah, two meters and three centimeters, but then again, you can extend it even more with the horizontal arm thing and it gets so high I can't even reach it, and I'm 174 <laughs> plus my hand, <laughs> it gets really high. So basically this tripod gets up to 220 centimeters in its highest extension mode, and it wobbles a lot when it's fully extended. As you can see, I'm moving it around. Before I'm going to finish this video, I want to show you one last feature that you can do with this tripod, and that is you can remove the center column, like so, and then you can flip it upside down. So as you can see right now, the center column is upside down, and I can get really, really low if I want to. Again, I can also extend this horizontal arm thing and get even lower. This is pretty cool or I can get into this position. Anywho, I think this is it for today. For $129, you're getting a pretty versatile tripod with many different modes, such as a monopod mode. You also get a horizontal arm for like macro photography or overhead shots. This tripod also gets really high and it's built out of aluminum, the build quality feels really nice, and again, it's not really expensive. If you want to purchase this tripod for yourself, I'm going to leave links down below, and I guess I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.